You want to uh, hear my cheer? It's sure. Beer cheer. Sure. Let's let's B hear. B e e r sitting with you at the bar. Whee! So your parents were kind of arty, mm -hmm. and you're kind of arty. Mm -hmm. So your kids must be engineers, right? I mean, um, no, but that's a good that's a good question because there's that theory that if you do one thing, your children do the opposite. Mm -hmm. right? Um, and I think that's a bunch of hogwash. Yeah. I, I think it really comes down to respect. I think it's communication, and uh, we don't do timeouts, we don't do punishment, we don't do spanking. Those are all things out of our toolbox. Mm -hmm. Our toolbox is all about communication. So go ahead, ask well, so, a question. Well, uh, so are they musicians? Are they interested in music? Um, they both sing. I have two girls, 11 and 7. They both sing. They both have been on multiple recordings. Um, one of my children has an agent, which sounds so snotty, but uh, it's because hmm. she's interested, and we want her to express herself and if that's part of her expressing herself we support it um, they both draw one of my oldest daughter wants to do Japanese animation and manga and she's very involved in that and she's learning Japanese and my youngest daughter wants to be in Cirque du Soleil and is learning to play the piano and you know. one of the things I've always admired about you is that you're totally a tireless worker in the community you're always playing benefits you're working to raise money you're committed to causes that are local and causes that are international so like what's up with the dick monologue <laughs> What, what is, explain to us about the dick oh, monologues. Oh man, well, you know, I had been in the vagina monologues, which is really a powerful thing. And mm -hmm. if you haven't seen it, I really suggest you go see it. It's very, very funny. I think people are threatened by the word vagina, but it's really funny and it's very touching. It's, um, and so my friend, Spike Gillespie, who's a great writer and you should have her on the show, uh, and we're kind of opposites. She's, she kind of sees life through a dark filter and I see life through this happy filter which makes us very great friends indeed. She called me up and had just gone through divorce and then had gotten involved with this guy and, and it, it turned out to be Dicky too. So she was just pissy and in a pissy place. Is this going to go bad for me? I mean, No, 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 no. Okay. So she said, I want to get it out Because if this is all about like guys being dicks and I'm going to feel like I'm a dick and I'm part of that whole thing. It's like... No. I Listen. meant for you to like tell me about like the play and how it's funny and guys are great. I'm going there. Okay. I'm going there. I'll wait, let me tell you what happened. So okay. she's going on, blah, 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 men are awful, blah, blah, I want to do a stage thing about blah. I emailed her back and I said, Spike, I love you, but I'm not willing to go on and, and bag on men because not all men are bad. There are some bad women in the world too. So she wrote back and she goes, okay, Miss Sunshine, of course, you know, we won't be all about how bad men are. Uh, so the dick monologues are a group of women. I, it depends on the show, but uh, there's different women coming and going. But um, I've been in all of them except one, and we tell a monologue from our life of a, a, an unpleasant experience with uh, someone of the male persuasion. A lot of guys showing up for that, or? Um, we had five at the last show, and Spike made them all stand up, and we applauded them. And we start the show <laughs> with a guy. Has your husband Jones. been to it? Yeah, he came. He liked it a lot. That's a it's good It's very dad. funny. It's just like the vagina monologues in that it's funny, and it's, you know, it's heartbreaking. And, but the know. vagina monologues is women talking about their vaginas. Yeah. Shouldn't the dick monologue? I mean, shouldn't we? I mean, isn't well, y'all had one. I think there was a. Network, I, I saw on the on HBO much on the, the dick sex, I mean, sex isn't that show a whole or gig? something. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a sex show where all these men were sitting around naked, but they were talking about the size of their penises, and they were naked, and I, you could see all these different penises. And it was really interesting. I never. That was Brad. I've never seen so many penises on one show. That wasn't me. I have the most penises I ever saw, really, but. Um, area. Okay, so you've got other involvements. <laughs> In music, I don't know how I'm going to make this transition without it being uh, bad. Um, Are we going to do a children's song you, now? <laughs> yeah. I, first, I want to talk about the albums. This is one of your fantastic new albums. This is Motherload. It's got mm. 20 amazing new songs, um, including the one that you just heard, the funny one about sex. Um, also, these terrific kids' albums. Here's Big Kid. This is Sarah, one of Sarah's albums. Um, and also, I want to make sure to um, mention her website, Sarah Hickman. That's S A R A. H I C K M A N, SarahHickman.com, where there's all kinds of really amazing stuff. You can learn all about Sarah and what she's up to and, and, and figure out uh, how you can manage to hear her live.
part of the song, where usually there would be a saxophone solo. But we don't have a saxophone, so you know what we're going to do? Clay is going to dance for you. Here we go! Botswana and make some new friends with me. Oh, Ilana, do you want to go over to Botswana and see what there is to see? Oh, we'll play with the children. So what? We'll ride on a camel. Two humps. We'll try some new foods. Yum, yum. We'll send postcards to everyone. Oh, see what there is to see. What is to see? See what there is to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Job. How did you do that to me? <laughs> and also, one thing I want you to tell us about before before we go is uh, Super Pal Universe. What's that? Oh, tell me about Super yes, Pal Universe. Yes, you are the best. Well, you know. <laughs> is that a guy thing? Is that okay? Yeah. Just punch you it's, it's, Yeah, that's starting to hurt. Um, oh, sorry. Um, well, I have this show. It's going on called Super Pal Universe, which you can go to the site, superpalpaluniverse.com. And um, we held auditions at Gibson Showroom here in Austin, which is a fabulous group of people. And um, we selected five kids, and they are a teen band, and I'm their crazy manager that gets them into scrapes and out of scrapes. And um, so the site is leading to a pilot, which we're creating for television, and wow. hopefully it'll be on PBS. Um, we're in talks with them. You know that, that in the 80s, or mm -hmm. any, any guy that's my age drove around with one of these. My right? husband has his on the wall. In the in car. The and we brought it in here as a prop. I had my college roommate come in and he was laughing because it's the same one that I had when I was in college. And um, so you can see here, I've got like Midnight Oil, The Love Smiths, it. Yes, <laughs> R.E.M. Uh, it's got a little Van Morrison, Creedence, Cowboy Junkies, Blues Traveler, uh, Beach Boys, and down here in the anchor position, yes, Sarah Hickman cassette tape. 1990, Dirty. right Look there. at this, baby. Oh I've been gosh. a fan for a while. I wish I wish you could get a close up of this hairstyle though. Oh, I know. Yeah, Sarah Hickman cassette. I'm a genuine. I'm a genuine I'm like so old flattered. school fan. Awesome. That's all for us <laughs> here in the lounge. See you next week. Mm. Go slow with that, would you? Because mm. I want to have to like mop you up off the floor <laughs> back here. I might get to my fourth beer.